Right my friends, so in today's vlog we're going to head into Leeds. I'm at New Pudsey Station at the moment and uh, I wanted to know where to go. And last night I said to my girlfriend, where am I going to go? Come on, where can I go for breakfast? So she said, well there's a new place opened in Leeds and it's called Farmhouse or The Farmhouse and it's got some superb food. I looked at the menu and I'm thinking, oh do I just want breakfast? I could basically have breakfast and stay for lunch and dinner as well because it looks absolutely amazing and it gets excellent write-ups as well and uh, also my girlfriend said that lots of her friends have been there and said it is fantastic so I'm looking forward to this. They've got one apparently uh, in, uh, where are we looking here, Look, they've got one apparently in uh, Harrogate as well so it says Farmhouse is an all-day independent restaurant. They are located off Station Parade under the Everyman Cinema in Harrogate City Centre and in Leeds City Centre on Lands Lane, serving the best breakfast until 5pm, alongside juicy burgers, uh, fresh salads, seafood and tasty vegan and vegetarian dishes, all complemented by hand-picked wines, craft beers and cocktails. The decor makes it an ideal breakfast, brunch and lunch location or rent out for a private event on an evening. Um, I shall put their link in the description down below. We're going to head off into Leeds. I'm going to use the train uh, and let the train take the strain. That, blimey, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Uh, because trying to drive into Leeds city centre at the moment now uh, because of what the council has done with bus lanes and bike lanes it's an absolute nightmare so I thought I'll park up here jump on the train and get straight in there and go and have breakfast we're going to mark it out of 10 and you guys are going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price and on the decor as that's what they mention on their website if you're new to the channel and you do like this content don't do it now because you might think it's rubbish at the end and you think I like this guy hit the subscribe button it's free and also give it a thumbs up now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so there's a 20 minute delay, which is, uh, it, take me, it takes me back to British Rail years ago. British Rail getting you there eventually. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd read you, a, at least it's nice, you know, it's spring now in the UK and it's starting to get uh, British summer times begun. We've got lighter nights, so we've got uh, summer to look forward to. Anyway, I'm reading about this place and it says, uh, Farmhouse has been an inspiration for Jordan, the owner, for many years. He has worked in the industry as a chef for 14 years and has always dreamed of opening his own restaurant with a mission to create great food and hospitality. I've always wanted to open my own restaurant. I've spent my career learning uh, for this moment. I wanted to open a restaurant to create great food and service. I chose Harrogate to fulfill my dream because it is a great city with lovely people uh, who support independent businesses. Obviously, they've now expanded into Leeds as well. So I am looking forward to this and if it's no good and I'm blaming my girlfriend so Sarah better be right right so we're on the train we've literally got about a five minute journey now it's not long and uh, i'm looking forward to this although i'm sat in the wrong direction because i'm sat backwards which makes me feel a little bit ill is that just me should i be sat forwards or is it i don't know odd anyway i am looking forward to this the photographs if they if they if the food is like the photographs then it's going to be excellent um, i've seen them on the website have a look up put the link in the description down below but my girlfriend says she likes her food and she knows her food so and she said it's going to be good so i'm looking forward to this and if it isn't then as i say i'm blaming it but she's never normally wrong she's always right she's always right Right, 
here we are, Leeds. Let's go and get that breakfast. Right, okay. Now there is something about a train station, isn't there? I don't know what it is, it's exciting. When you're a kid, you love trains, don't you? I think it's because it's the beginning of a chapter, isn't it? And people are going on different places and different journeys. And you look at people and you can people watch. Where are they going? What are they gonna do when they get there? That's what I, I've, I've always loved trains. I had miniature train sets when I was a kid, model railways, oh, I loved it, Hornby. Who remembers the old adverts on TV with Bernard Cribbins? Right, I've got to tell you, there's a lot of work going on in Leeds, which is a good sign when you've got sort of like high rises going up, etc. It's uh, it's not a bad city, really. I mean, can't be that bad. They named it three times. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. <laughs> Yorkshire Soap Company. They've actually got a soap in there called Leeds United. Leaves you more dirty than when you started off washing yourself. <gasps> Controversial, easy. Right, here we are, farmhouse. Breakfast, lunch and brunch. Now they've got a menu on there as well. Let's have a look at the menu, shall we? Right, well. We're going to go for the breakfast. So I think we'll go for the farmhouse full English here. Two eggs, any style, Cumberland sausages, bacon, Heinz baked beans, roast tomato, grilled mushroom, toasted sourdough, 14 pounds, 55 pence. And we'll probably have a latte as well. Uh, so uh, while I go in there, get inside and get comfortable, have a look at the menu and have a look around. Right, so it's very nice in here. Now there is music playing, so I'm gonna to have to keep speaking, unfortunately, and I'll put on voice isolation in my uh, edit suite, Final Cut Pro. People keep asking me what I use to edit my videos. Now I've gone for the breakfast here, which is the farmhouse full English, two eggs, any style, Cumberland sausages, bacon, Heinz baked beans, roast tomato, grilled mushroom, and toasted sourdough. However, she did ask if I wanted to ask, uh, add a um, hash brown, and also some black pudding extra. So I said, yes, I'm gonna go for that. I've had my eggs poached because I, I like them poached, to be honest, rather than fried. Got the bottle of water on the table as well, which uh, comes complimentary, hopefully. Uh, and a lovely little booth here as well. Music playing, as I say, it is good music. We've had Sting on as well, which is, uh, that's two thumbs up from me. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Lots of good things on the menu here. I would love to come back and do a lunch here or whatever, try one of their burgers or maybe even their chicken katsu curry because their burgers on the website look fantastic. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Don't forget we're gonna mark it out of 10. I've had a latte as well, and you guys are gonna mark it out of 10 on looks and on price and on ambiance as well.
Right, okay, so the goods have arrived and it looks excellent. We've got uh, nice tomatoes there on the vine and a proper, a proper Grange Hill sausage uh, with the Heinz beans there, black pudding, uh, hash browns, which are round, are they? They're round hash browns and eggs as well. Uh, got the HP sauce, proper HP in packets there. The bacon underneath as well, which um, looks uh, excellent, actually. Looks really good. Looks really nice. In fact, before I go any further, just take a closer look, my friends. There you go. I think actually, do you know what I'm going to cut into? I'm going to cut into these eggs and let's see how they've done the poached eggs. So let's close in a little bit. Right, absolutely perfect as well. Um, the eggs are. Uh, although I should have buttered my bread first. I tell you what, I'm going to go in first. I'm going to go in for the sausage first because it's my favorite part of the breakfast and there's nothing worse than the catering sausage this isn't one this is a proper butcher's sausage just look at that and that tastes absolutely fantastic so far Sarah you're uh, you're right and I love although I like tin tomatoes on a fry up on a breakfast like this which is a posh breakfast isn't it really i do like a proper tomato let's taste it as well especially when they're on the vine like that not my word that is bursting with flavor in fact it's gone all over my hands there i'm hoping it hasn't gone on my clothes wow that is a proper tomato very fresh I don't think I've got it out I don't think I've got it down, Rick. Need a bib. Um let's go in for the, for the hash brown. In fact, no, we'll go beans. Heinz beans. Hash brown looks nice. And it's not just a like a triangular frozen one, that that's very nice. Crispy on the outer. Fluffy on the inner. You do have to pay extra for these. We've got the mushroom as well. Bacon. Bacon looks good, actually. Let's go in for the bacon. No fat on the bacon, which is good. Cooked perfectly. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the bacon's perfect. Not too salty just cooked to perfection not too crispy the black pudding falling apart wow that black pudding's got a strong taste to it that's nice a little bit of herbs and spices in there as well so far so good i need to um let's try the mushroom shall we the pretentious mushroom as i always say it's a single mushroom on its own do you prefer a single mushroom on its own or do you prefer the little mushrooms? Let me know in that comment section. There we go. Mm. That is gorgeous. I'm going to have to be very careful with these tomatoes because they are so, they literally, when you cut them open, they're bursting with goodness on it. In fact, I'm going to try and cut one. Take a, I'll cut into it and just have a look. But all the juices coming out of these tomatoes. Okay. 
Right, well, them tomatoes are spot on. I've buttered my bread as well. These packets, though. I would say to them, I'm not going to do a deductive point, but I would say get a bottle of HP sauce if you're watching. Uh, and not one of them squeezy ones either, the plastic bottles. Get a proper bottle of HP sauce for your breakfast. It'll just add that little bit of, um, you know, je ne sais quoi, Rodney, uh, I think, to the breakfast. Them tomatoes are fantastic. The, uh, the sausages to me is what makes a breakfast. And there's nothing worse than being confronted by a catering sausage, is there? Mmm. Yeah, proper. Let's try this toast with the buttered as well. Them eggs are gorgeous. Mmm. Now. Mmm. Sourdough bread is normally really tough to eat. But to be fair, this is good. I'm not normally a fan of sourdough bread. But I have to say, that's easy to eat. It's not like eating rubber. Very nice. I think I'll just eat the rest of this and then uh, we'll mark it out of 10 outside. So I'll see you guys outside in a minute. Wow. I just want to come back for the burger now. Mmm. leave me to eat now eh? you don't need to see any more angles i'll see you outside i'll make some notes this is excellent food i'll tell you what sarah if you're watching which you won't be because you don't watch me good choice excellent choice mm. excellent recommendation Right, okay, let's get down to business, shall we? So, um, that was a good recommendation, I would say. That was an excellent breakfast, very posh breakfast, and uh, good, good uh, products in there as well, good produce. The sausages were excellent. It's so, so nice to have a proper butcher's sausage. The bacon was perfect for me, no fat on it or rind. It wasn't too crispy, it wasn't too soggy, it was cooked to perfection. The beans were Heinz, uh, the tomatoes were beautiful, they were bursting with flavour. Um, and I do, I, as I say, I do like tin tomatoes, but that's on a fry up. On a breakfast like that, you can't have tin tomatoes and they were gorgeous, especially on the vine as well. Um, the black pudding, really nice. Uh, it, I, it's an acquired taste, black pudding, I have to say. Um, but the, the eggs cooked to perfection, my poached eggs, I like a little poached egg there. Sourdough bread as well, normally you can't even chew that, but with that it was perfect, easily chewable. Um, everything about it, the mushroom was perfect as well, the service was excellent, the ambiance was great. Um, it was first thing, I'd love to go back for their burger as well. Um, the staff were very, very friendly. The dogs are welcome, now that's always a bit of a... <laughs> bit of a thing for me. I'm not really, I was going to say, bone of con <laughs> contention, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, which actually works, doesn't it? A bone of contention with a dog. I don't really like dogs in restaurants, but you know, I guess it's a, is it a dog city? Leeds? I don't know. What do you think? Pop it in the comment section down below. If I was to take anything away, I would say give us a proper high, uh, proper HP bottle there. Not a plastic one, a glass one. It tastes better. Don't ask me why. Um, so go for that. All in all, though, I've got to give it a, uh, I've got to give it a ten. Uh, and what was the price? Here we go. It was twenty-four pounds and forty pence. Um, should they have added the hash brown and included that? Another two pound ninety-five for a hash brown and the black pudding. Maybe, maybe not, because not a lot of people like black pudding. It's an acquired taste, so maybe add that extra hash brown. Probably would have included that within the breakfast personally, but £24 
40 there that was including my latte as well um, do you know what there's no reason for me not to give it a 10 because it was perfect produce and I thoroughly enjoyed it and it's nice to have a good quality breakfast now and again would you go there every day with your family probably not because it's uh, you know it's a, it would end up being rather expensive but it is the city as well it's the city of Leeds so I think it deserves a 10 and I'd love to go back and try their burgers let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you did like the video please do me a favor and just hit the thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything and also hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye